Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to get every glitched helmet in GTA 5 online. So this includes all the coloured bulletproof helmets, all the coloured riot helmets and also the coloured combat helmets. So I hope you do enjoy the video or you find it helpful. If you do, please leave a like. That's all up to you though. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. So first of all, I'll show you how to get all these special coloured combat helmets. First of all, go to any clothing store on the map, go on the hat section and you need to head down to the helmets. Now on helmets, if you do want the orange combat helmet, you're going to need to purchase the black open face helmet. Also, if you want the green one, you will need the grey open face helmet. And for the purple one, it's going to be the pink open face helmet. Then for the pink one, it will be the white open face helmet. If you want, you can just purchase all of those in order to get all the coloured combat helmets. From here though, you're going to want to head down to the combat helmets and then equip the zebra quad lens helmet. Once you have this equipped, you can back out of this menu and open up your interaction menu, then head down to your appearance. And whether the visor is up or down, it doesn't really matter. But you need to set the bike helmet to the colour you want. So first of all, I'm going to get the green coloured combat helmet, which is the grey open face helmet on bike helmet. Then you also want to make sure the auto show bike helmet is set to on. And from here, you just want to register as a CEO and then sit inside of any car. From here, open up your interaction menu, go to your CEO style, switch one to the right, then one back to the left, exit a car. From here, you want to hold right D-pad to put the visor down or up. Sometimes it won't work as it automatically puts the visor down. So if that happens, just make sure you set the visor to up, sit in the car, then go to your CEO style, switch one to the right, then one back to the left. Exit a car and from here, you can hold right D-pad to put the visor down yourself and it should change to the color you chose. Now you can repeat this to get all four of the special colours. So all you have to do for that is change the bike helmet in your interaction menu. So the black open face helmet should give me the orange combat helmet. So again, just sit in your car, go to your CEO style. Switch one to the right, then one back to the left. Next to the car, hold right D-pad to put the visor up or down. And it should change to the colour you chose. Again, you can just repeat this to get different colours. And all you have to change is the bike helmet. And there you go, that's how you get all four of the glitched camo coloured combat helmets. Now I'll show you how to get the coloured riot helmets. So in order to get the coloured riot helmets, you are going to need to go back onto helmets. Now this time for the orange coloured riot helmet, you are going to need to purchase the cobble helmet. And for the green coloured riot helmet, it's going to be the death helmet. And then for the purple one, it will be the cubist helmet. And the pink one will be the digital helmet. From here though, you need to head up to the riot helmets and then equip the LSPD riot helmet. Now that you have this, you can back out of this menu and then open up your interaction menu, go to appearance. Once again, make sure auto show bike helmet is set to on. And for the bike helmet, set it to the color you want. For me, I'm gonna use the digital helmet first, which should give me the pink colored riot helmet. From here though, register as a CEO and then sit inside of any car. Go to your CEO style, switch one to the right, then one back to the left, then exit your car and then hold right D-pad to put the visor down or up. You should notice your helmet changes to the colour you chose and you can repeat this over and over to get all the different colours. So the Cubist bike helmet should get me the purple riot helmet. So just repeat the same thing, go to your CEO style, switch one to the right and one back to the left, exit the car, hold right D-pad, put the visor down or up and it should change colours. Now the cobble helmet should get you the orange riot helmet. Finally, the death helmet should get you the green riot helmet. Now, before we move on, if you guys are looking for any GTA 5 modded accounts that come with modded outfits on them and plenty of cash and RP, or you just want an account boost, feel free to check out today's sponsor, MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion, and you can also boost your current account with tons of money and RP. And with over 9,000 reviews on their official Trustpilot page, they are by far the most highly reputable modders. The link will be in the description and pinned comment. Feel free to use code TJRH for 5% off your order. Anyway, next up, I'll show you how to get the rest of the glitched helmets, and that includes all the coloured bulletproof helmets. So first of all, I'll be showing you how to get the purple bulletproof helmet. 
and this is actually a two-in-one so you can also get the orange bulletproof helmet so in order to get these bulletproof helmets what you need to do is bookmark a certain job for xbox and playstation i'll leave a link to the job in the description it will be on rockstar social club so the job should look like this for Xbox Series X. Again, I have both links in the description for PlayStation and Xbox, so just bookmark for whatever console you are on. Then restart your game, load into online, and you wanna set your spawn location to last location. Then open up your pause menu, head over to jobs, play job. You wanna head down to bookmarked, then head down to last team standing, and then find a job you just bookmarked. So this is what it looks like for Xbox, and I think it is the same for PlayStation. So just start up the job you bookmarked. By the way, I believe these jobs only work for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S, so new gen. Um, however, I'm not fully sure as I haven't tested it on the old gen, but feel free to try and bookmark them and let me know down below if they do save. Don't worry though, the method I'm going to show you after this to get coloured bulletproof helmets works for all consoles. Anyway though, when you're in this menu here, you want to invite anyone and start this up. Now, for the orange bulletproof helmet, you need to be the host, like I am, but if you do want the purple bulletproof helmet, you need someone else to start it up and you need to be the one to join. Anyway though, in this menu, just ready up. When you load in, it should switch you to this adversary mode outfit with the colored bulletproof helmet and also the colored joggers, by the way, this comes with. Um, so for me, it was the orange one as I'm the host. From here though, go to your interaction menu, go to accessories and then change your gloves. Then just quit the job using your phone. Now when you load in, you should notice you have the outfit from inside of the job. So from here, go to a clothing store, and then you can take off the top, shoes, whatever, and then save the outfit. And you can also repeat that job to get the purple bulletproof helmet as well. You'll just need to be the person to join. Next up, I'll show you how to turn these coloured bulletproof helmets into any coloured bulletproof helmet in the game. So you are going to need a coloured bulletproof helmet first. Uh, so you can just use this orange one or the purple one. So first of all, you want to come to any clothing store on the map. And then you want to head over to the hat section and the top and pants and shoes you wear doesn't really matter so you can wear anything but for hats you want to head down to the biker helmets now for this part here certain biker helmets will end up giving us different colored bulletproof helmets so i'll leave a list in the description of which biker helmets equal which color bulletproof helmets so the black dome will give you the green bulletproof helmet and that's the example i'll use for this video and this glitch also works with other helmets, not just the coloured bulletproof helmets, so it will work with all these helmets on the screen now. It's just you will need a coloured version of those helmets to begin with in order to change the colour of it. So you can just follow the steps the exact same, but with one of those hats or helmets if you want to get a coloured version of those. Once you have chosen your helmet, you just want to go ahead and save this outfit. So go to the front desk and then save this in any slot but make sure there is a slot available next to it. And then you want to name this the same as I do, so name it C1. And of course, just make sure there is a slot available either underneath it or above it. And then from here, you're going to need any coloured bulletproof helmet. So you want to make it on this outfit here. So we want to merge it onto this. Uh, so obviously, if you did the glitch before this to get the orange or purple bulletproof helmet, you can just use that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the orange bulletproof helmet and merge it onto this outfit. So you want to go to any telescope. So there is one over there on the pier. Do the telescope glitch, so run by, spam right on the d-pad. When you're standing still, go ahead and equip your C1 outfit, and then run away. And you'll notice it merges onto it. So go back to a clothing store. In the clothing store, go ahead and save this next to your C1 outfit, and name this C2. When you've done that, you just want to go ahead and equip the C1 outfit, and then just exit the clothing store. From here, open up your interaction menu, head down to your parachute and you want to set it to the classic shoot bag and then set it to on. Once you've done that, you also want to go onto accessories, then head down to glasses and scroll one to the right. So just make sure you have some glasses to equip. You should then see the orange loading circle at the bottom right. That means it has saved. Now from here, you're going to need two consoles with the same version of GTA on them. So if you have two consoles, great. If you don't know, you can ask a friend to help you if you trust them logging into your account on their console. Now on the second console, you have to be able to log into your account. So obviously you cannot log into an Xbox account on PlayStation. So it needs to be two of the same kind of consoles. However, you can use an Xbox One and an Xbox Series X as long as it is the same version of GTA. 
And the same goes with PlayStation, but it has to be the same version of GTA, of course. So that can be two consoles with old gen GTA or two consoles with a new gen GTA. Uh, so just the same version of GTA, make sure you have that. And then from here, you're gonna need a program called Netcut. And I'll leave a link to this in the description for you to download. You can get it on Android and PC. Now the Netcut program should look something like this, depending if you're on PC or Android. This is on PC. Uh, but anyway, on the menu, you wanna find your console. So sometimes it'll just straight up say Xbox One or PlayStation or PlayStation 5. Whatever it is, it should say it on here. If it doesn't say the console name, you'll have to find the MAC address of your console and then find that same MAC address on this list. And you can look up how to find the MAC address of your console. It should be in the console settings. Once you find your console on this list of devices connected to your internet, press the blue Wi-Fi icon and it should go red. What this should do is it should let you log into your console number two while also staying logged in on console number one. So head over to console number two or if a friend is helping you, get them to watch this video and then do this part for you. So on console number two, just log into your same account as console number one. Then you want to load into story mode in GTA. And then once you load straight into story mode, just start up a new online invite only session and do this quickly. When you load into online, what you want to do from here is open up your interaction menu and then you want to head down to your style or appearance. Then head down to your outfits and switch over to the C2 outfit. And then from here, go to parachutes and then set it to on. Then head up to glasses and then switch one to the right. So once you do all this, from here, just quit to story mode. Once you've quit to story mode from here, just close out of GTA. So just close the application completely and then sign out of your account on this console. From here, just head back over to your console number one. Now, if done correctly, you should still be logged in on console one. So from here, open up your interaction menu. And then what you want to do is remove the parachute and then take off the glasses. Now from here, head back over to Netcut. Now on Netcut, just go to your console again. This time, press the red Wi-Fi icon and it should go back to blue. That means it will no longer lag the internet on that console and it will be fully reconnected. Now from here, you just want to wait a bit to see if you get any alert saying you've been kicked from GTA 5. Now for PlayStation, I believe you will get an alert. So if you do get that alert, just accept the alert and it will just kick you from GTA. So what you want to do from there is just load back into GTA, load into story mode, then into online and you should spawn in with your chosen bulletproof helmet. So that's pretty straightforward, but for Xbox, we don't actually get an alert, at least I don't anyway. So even on PlayStation, if you don't get an alert after waiting a while, you will have to force an alert. So I'll show you how to force it. So just go back to console number two, log into your same account and then load up GTA and it should give you this alert. So press play here instead. Now, when you start to load in, just head back over to console number one. You should also have this alert on console number one. So this one, you want to press play here instead and then you want to load into story mode. Now, if when you're loading in, you get any alert like this, just press sync last save data. If you get this alert, just press the newer save. Now, if none of that happens, that's great. Just ignore what I just said. Um, but from here, just start up a new online invite only session. Now, if done correctly, you should spawn in with the colored bulletproof helmet you chose on your outfit. So go ahead and save it. Now, if you want to put this helmet onto your other outfits, just go to any telescope on the map and then do the telescope glitch. So run by, spam right on the D-pad. When you're standing still, just equip whatever outfit you want the colored bulletproof helmet to go onto and then run away and you'll notice it merges onto that outfit. And there you go. That's how you do it. And you can redo this to get all the colored bulletproof helmets in the game. Again, the list is in the description. Anyway, that is it for this video. So I hope you found it helpful or enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And thank you for watching. Have a great day or night and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.